Hello everyone! I'm here today to film a quick video. I placed an order online with one of my favorite stores of all time called the Paper Seahorse. Right here. And they're located in Tampa, Florida, but they also have an online shop. You can purchase things online from them. So when I opened up the package, this is what it looked like. There was a cute small little card with a thank you on it, and then as well as their postcard. So I'm just going to open this up really quickly, very nicely packaged, very fast shipping. So I'm really excited about this. And I think you guys are going to be excited about it too. I love the ladies at the Paper Seahorse. It's really one of my favorite places ever. It's where I went to uh, that Midori meetup that I documented a couple days ago. So as you can see, I did get another Traveler's Notebook. This is my second. The first one I have is a regular standard size in the limited edition blue. And now I have a Passport Camel. And to go along with that, I did get the craft folder, and I do already own um, this. And you'll see why I bought these two things specifically. I did purchase this when I was there for the meetup, so let's crack this pretty thing open. So excited about this. I don't have a passport size yet in in the leather. I have a fabric one from Melon Journal, but not a leather one from Midori. So here's the green elastic. Let's just open this up. It smells so different from my blue one. Look how pretty. It already looks like a worn. I love that. I did read that these scratch pretty easily compared to the black and the blue, so I'm already emotionally prepared for that. So um, this is what it looks like inside, and you it does come with an insert already inside, just a regular blank insert. Okay, so what I purchased this for was so that I could create a wallet. And I saw a blog post, and I'll link it down below so you guys know what I'm talking about. But she used a passport uh, camel or a passport uh, Midori to use as her wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything in so that I can kind of show you what I mean. I'm just going to slide this in really quickly. Okay, so there you can see I've got the actual cover, the plastic that has two sides, the craft folder, the notebook, and then it repeats on the other side, and then the zipper pocket. So I've already emptied out my wallet. These are all the things that I had inside my wallet. So I'm just going to go ahead and start slowly putting these things in here so that you can see how I plan on using everything. And I do have my two cards. I'm just going to, for the sake of the video, I'm going to put it in here. But I'm going to keep everything relatively covered. So that my identity doesn't get stolen. So I've got two cards in each slot here. And then I'm going to just slide one right behind there. So you can see I've got four cards and then a fifth in the back. So then I'm just going to slide some things right here. And then slide some more receipts back here. And there it is. There's my new wallet. In two minutes flat. <laughs> so yeah, it's not chunky at all. The only chunky part about it is this knot in the back. Which I'm sure maybe there's a way that I can change that, but you can see the bulge right there. So yeah, this is something that I'm going to carry in my purse from now on. It's got everything I'll need in here. It's got all my IDs, my cards that I'll need, my library card, um, 
receipts that I need to take back to uh, Women's Doodle. I'm actually going to St. Petersburg this weekend for the Etsy craft party. And um, Women's Doodle has a uh, points system that I actually need to get the card for that as well. But the last time I was there, I spent a bunch of money and I wasn't able to put my points on my card. So I saved the receipts so that when I go into the store, I can have them put it on my card so that I can get those reward points. So not only do I have something to hold all of my IDs, any gift cards or, or receipts that I need right here, I have a place to take down notes. I have another place to hold receipts right here and then I have a place to hold any kind of cash or money or anything like that. I don't typically carry cash, but if I did, it would go right here. So I'm really loving this. Um, I got this idea, like I said, from a blog post online, and I'll link it below so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't take credit for this idea at all. I just, as soon as I saw it, I knew that is what I wanted to do. So, um, yeah, I really like this a lot. And you can see that this, I mean, it's brand new. No one else has touched this but me. You can already see that this is aging really, really well. So, and I noticed that this stamp is different. Here's my blue and now they're labeling it Traveler's Company instead of Midori. Mine, mine is uh, too new for it to say Midori. I think that was from a few years ago but um, now it says Traveler's Company which is really cool. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you are inspired that by this idea, let me know in the comments below or check me out over on my Instagram so I can um, go see what you guys are doing as well. If you guys are doing the same thing but different, let me know so that I can maybe tweak my ideas to see if I have, um, if there's a better way to do this. I just strictly copied exactly what I saw on this blog post. So. Um, yeah, if you like these types of videos, give me a um, comment down below, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.